We've been joined by uh, Jane from the library. Uh, we're talking about how nonprofits come together to collaborate and the first time that we're coming together to actually raise money for community oriented projects. Uh, so Jane, can you speak a little bit to how the great, what the great give is going to mean to the library this year? Uh, I don't think the great give has been something I've ever felt was competitive with the other agencies, but I think this is the first time we've really cooperated and I love it. The library is delighted to participate in the Great Give. It's not something we've been doing for too many years. This year, striving to raise money for a community participative mural that we're hoping that members of our community, including you, will come to the library and make a leaf that we will affix on our tree mural, which is right across from the borrowing desk. And your leaf can have a picture of you. It can have other representation of you if you prefer not to have a picture, it can create something artistic. Um, if you'd like to come to the library, we are having opportunities for photos, um, to come for a photo um, and there, that information is available on the library website, you can choose a time come in, have your photo taken. Maybe you'll want to wear your favorite outfit or something that represents you or hold your favorite object. Or we even have a couple outdoor photo opportunities for people that might want to come and have a photo taken with their pet. We um, are inviting our community to make leaves and they will be affixed on a tree that was painted by a local artist, Rashmi Talpati painted right on the wall of the library. And mm -hmm. Rashmi will also help people to create their leaves so that they, the picture looks right and sits right on the leaf. Um, so, so we are doing that and we're doing that also to help our community celebrate its 350 plus two anniversary. The themes we just talked about using art to connect, mm -hmm. using art to uh, share in a way that's different than we would do in a face-to-face -face kind of situation. And the Great Give is a way of collecting money and making connections, but projects like this sometimes cost a little bit of money. And that's one of the reasons why gifts as little as $5 to connect with us or any amount that you can uh, share um, is important to community projects because projects like this uh, sometimes do take a little bit of seed money. And that's why we, we're also emphasizing be the seed because from seeds, great things grow. And here this project has a tree involved which grows from seeds. And we've also been playing with this uh, acorn called Gigi and she's journeying through the community. And I just received some photos of Gigi and Rashmi today which will be part of uh, the journey story if you just oh. follow us. So that is exciting. Is there anything else that either of you ladies would like to say about the Great Give experience or connecting people and art and uh, in Wallingford? Have you talked yet uh, about the matching opportunities? No, we, we mentioned it briefly, but we haven't gone into it in detail. What was shared was that people can give to organizations throughout the year, and we all appreciate that. But what is special about the Great Give is how the foundation, the Community Foundation of Greater New Haven, and this year, Napier Foundation, All Next and the Rotary have come together to amplify the gifts of the community with matches and uh, surprise random drawings that might help us all have just that little bit more um, from the giving that the community does. So that the more that the community gives, the more that each of us will uh, get as organizations. And that would is what makes the great give different than sending in a check, you know, because it's your birthday <laughs> or something like that. Like we're very grateful for those things, but this provides an awesomely um, amplified opportunity. In yeah, and I love that it's, um, it's encouraging people in our community to think about giving to all of the organizations that are participating in this collaborative. Mm -hmm. I've typically given to a, a couple of organizations during the Great Give, but this year I'm going to make a point um, to do what I can to make a gift to all of the organizations that are participating in this collaborative because I, I feel really excited that you know, you've brought us together to do this and uh, want to do my part to help those organizations get some money and also participate in those matches, so.
That's great. And the Napier match uh, in particular is trying to encourage young people to think about how they can be a voice and that it can be as little as what they would pay for a cup of coffee um, to make a difference in their community. So Napier Foundation is actually matching gifts from folks that are 25 or younger and small matches are being matched. So the idea is really not that we, you know, want you to open your write, open your checkbook and write a big check. We really want you to get to know how the community is giving to the community at large. Like the why uh, is part of the, this particular initiative and the funds that go to the why will pay for folks that can't otherwise afford the why so that everyone can have that opportunity. And the Albert Boys and Girls Club is participating similarly to send children to camp that can't afford camp. So it's it's the little steps to make a, a difference in someone's life. It's, it's not about the big projects. It's not about the big initiatives that we are trying to do. It's about making those incremental things that make a difference for you know, our neighbors. And that's kind of what's exciting about you know, this approach to community and grassroots giving. 